All right, everybody. So, um, welcome to the um, second session for our afternoon session, track one. And this session will be having um, Norma. Norma is talking to us about agencies, why and how to use marketing automation for your business. So, um, a brief information about Norma. Norma is the um, head of uh, web, is the general manager at Web Mechanic, and also the product team leader for Maltic Community. Welcome, Norma. You have the Hi. floor. Yeah, thank you very much. Do you hear me well? I'm good. Okay, great. Yeah, we can great. hear you. Okay, great. Um, so thank you, everybody. Thank you for uh, for for being here for this session. Um, yes, you you're right. Today I, I will try to talk um, to agencies uh, specifically because um, I strongly think that uh, agencies can have a, a strong partnership and strong interest in using marketing automation. And I will try to explain you, um, according to my experience, uh, how to use it and why uh, you should to use it in your agency. Um, so first, uh, let me introduce myself quickly. Um, as you just said, so I'm the general web manager of WebMechanic, and I will come back to that, and also team product leader uh, at WebMechanic uh, at the Matic community. And uh, beside that, uh, I have private life, and I'm, I'm um, a lover of nature and mountaineering. So. Uh, I'm glad to talk about it uh, with you because I'm located here in the French Alps. Um, first, let me explain you um, what we do with Web Mechanic, uh, and you will see it have a, uh, it has a really strong link with uh, with Motic and marketing automation. Um, Web Mechanic has been founded in uh, 2015, and we are offering to our customers a, a maintain and a distribution of Motic. So. We do the, the hosting, maintenance, uh, support, uh, updates of version, fixing, etc. And we count today more than uh, 500 customers uh, and also uh, 70 partner agencies. So what we consider as a partner is an agency which is selling our uh, distribution of Motic to, to their own customers. And we'll come back to, to that later. Um, and also we are uh, very strong to be uh, the second main contributor of the Motic open source project after Acquia. Um, so what, what is Web Mechanic? Web Mechanic is based on the, the open source project Motic, uh, you know if you're here. And what we want to do is uh, to bring a, a really close uh, uh, solution to, to uh, marketing innovation solution to different enterprises and agencies. Um, with our specificities, uh, we are located here in France, so in Europe, and we need to have something that, which is really uh, GDPR ready. So we are working hard on that and we brought uh, several um, uh, features uh, on Motic community about uh, GDPR. Uh, as I said, we are located in France here, made in France. And also what we want to do, and this is the magic uh, with open source, we want to, to bring a solution, a SaaS solution, which is affordable. So this is only possible because this is a mix uh, between the open source, which is, uh, I would say, free. Uh, even if you have a lot of cost behind it because you need to maintain it, to host it, etc. And um, and a commercial solution you can have like Marketo HubSpot. So having a mix between a commercial solution and something open source, which is uh, affordable. Just to 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 give the context and, and why, and you will see why also I talk about that today. Today, uh, Web Mechanic is the current main contributor of Motic. So this is for the last five months of contribution. Uh, so we have been developing in the last six years a really strong knowledge of, about how to use Motic and, and why to use Motic. And this is what I will share with you today. Uh, and there is something extra uh, I need to explain about myself. Uh, it's uh, what is the, the strong relationship? So I started to, to talk about it. Uh, what is the strong relationship we have developed uh, with Motic community? Um, the first thing is that we are involved since the very beginning of the pro project. Uh, you know that today the, the, the current version of Motic is uh, uh, the major version 3, uh, but we have been starting in 2015 and it was 1.2 at that time. So uh, we have somehow uh, the history of the, pro of the project. Um, also, we are uh, contributing a lot to the community. We are taking advantage of it. We're using it uh, for us and for our customers, but we're also giving back to the community. And I will come back to that after. Uh, most of what we do uh, today, we have been contributing 593 times to the community, um, fixing a bug, developing a feature, or this, this kind of stuff. Um, and also, we are uh, helping community to be aware of different issues. We have been uh, raising a lot of issues and fixing most of them. 
And uh, to conclude about uh, my profile, so as we said, I'm giving so, some of my time to the community. Uh, I try, so I'm not alone, and I will come back to that just after. Um, I'm giving my time to to try to lead the, the product team. So um, trying to define the path we have to, to, to take uh, to have a more reliable product in terms of uh, technical aspects, but also in terms of um, marketing and user aspects. So bringing new features and think about the strategy, about mail builder, scalability, uh, future of Motic Extra, of course, with uh, Motic uh, pro project lead. I also wanted, before starting the, the topic of the conference, explaining why I wanted to do it uh, today. Um, it's not specifically about promoting something, but more about promoting um, the, the, the idea behind the marketing automation and, and, uh, and, uh, and the, the community. Um, so <clears throat> there is two paths of explaining why I wanted to do this conference. The first path is for you, uh, because I, I, as I said, uh, at Web Mechanic, we are working today with uh, a lot of agencies. So some of them are uh, our partners, so they, they resell our solution. But we also work with the agencies of our customers that are not especially our customers, but they need to know how to use the marketing automation. And giving this experience with agencies, we have seen a lot of them in France and all across Europe. We have learned some experience. And I believe, uh, I strongly believe uh, that the marketing automation is one of the success trends for agencies. And if you are not in your agency doing some marketing automation today, I think you're missing uh, a, a trend that who could drive your agency to success or could maintain your agency, your agency in, system, in, in success. Um, also, I think it's a very important uh, topic, marketing automation for agencies, because it would help you uh, in uh, industry where you are doing services, when you create content, when you create a website, you are doing one service, you deliver the service, and then maybe you lose the customer. Using marketing automation is a great way for you to make your business sustainable and adding recur uh, recurring activities to your business. The second topic why I wanted to do this conference is for the Motic community. Because I strongly believe that if we can have more agencies involved in the community, we'll have more users, which is extremely good for the community. We'll also have uh, more business activities using Motic. And uh, this is what I, I was saying. I think if you use Motic in your business, um, it's very important and very interesting because more companies will uh, invest a part of their business with the community, more the community would take advantage of it. Uh, as we do at, at Web Mechanic, we are we, we need the community to grow. So we have to, to, to help the community to grow. And having many businesses interested by the marketing automation given by Motic will give to Motic community a great way to grow. If you're interested by your business with Motic, we'll probably have some of you that want to contribute to the community to make it uh, more performing, bigger in terms of marketing, product, etc. So more users, more contributor, and more active contributor when you have your business related to, to Motic. And um, there is several ways uh, you can join the Motic community because we have uh, different teams in the Motic community. We have a community team, education team, marketing team, and product team. So you can have any skills. It can be marketing, it can be technical, it can be communication, it can be just the wish of helping people, uh, you have a space where you can invest uh, part of your time in the community to help Motic uh, being better and communicate better and growing better, having more feature, etc. OK, um, now if you agree, I, I will uh, start the content of uh, this short conference. So it won't be long. I will just try to, to, to design and pattern some, some, uh, some, some reason of why uh, and how you should use marketing automation in your uh, agency business. Um, of course, uh, we have a session of questions after the, the conference, so feel free to, to write your question in the chat. Uh, I will have them and I will answer to them. And also, I will spend some time in the networking room afterwards if you have some more questions. First of all, I think we need to, to add a bit of context. And um, what is the root of the marketing automation is the link between uh, an inbound marketing strategy and the marketing automation strategy itself. In fact, um, today in the context, we have uh, a lot of issues 
um, in the corporations because uh, the market is changing. It's changing a lot. And corporations, they have to engage the conversation with uh, people. People can be a lead, can be a visitor, can be a prescriptor, can be a customer. And um, more and more, the corporation need to have this conversation. And um, unfortunately, most of the corporation, they have a static vision of the website. So they want a website, they want to promote the product, and then they will not touch the content anymore. Uh, but when um, you have a visitor or when you have a lead a prospect coming on your website, you have to offer them a real tour, a real a journey, uh, explaining what is your product, what is your value, etc. Also, most of the time, they start to have a social network account, so YouTube account, Facebook, LinkedIn, or whatever, but they don't even have a strategy behind. They say, okay, I have an account, but they don't know why they should have uh, to get um, visibility, to get some awareness. Yes, of course, but all of that is, there is a reason behind that. It's just because of the, your customer journey that will come through this different channel. And this is uh, one of the main issues we have today in the, in the corporations they are not able and they don't know how to handle all those channels, all the points of connection we can have with the different leads and contacts. Um, it can be on social, it can be by email, it can be on your website, it can be again on a the website. They can come and come back later. Uh, and they are not able to have a thread between all those points of contact. And then they are not able to create a um, logic discussion with, with the audience. They, they don't know where they started with the, this person. They don't really know how to go to where they want to go with it. And what they miss is this link all around the customer journey. So I, I've been preparing several uh, images. And, and today, um, some people are doing some like uh, paid advertising uh, to try to get um, traffic on the website, for instance. So you can use print, you can use TV, radio. Uh, you can also buy some space uh, on, uh, on ads or whatever. But this will generate for you only strangers. So the different visitors you can have your, on your website are strangers. You don't, you don't know who they are. Um, maybe uh, for the most advanced people, they will propose some really relevant and high content uh, value on their website. And for that, they will propose some brochure, brochure or, or like experience. And they will try from, from this to own some of the strangers and convert them to customers. Um, and at the very end, um, what they can have in the different uh, companies is fans. So it works for big brands, but not only. For instance, we have uh, at WebMechanic a lot of users that li like our product, and then somehow they are connected to another marketing uh, manager in another company. It's a friend of them, it's their family or whatever. And they would say, oh, I'm using this tool and it's pretty great. And those people should never be uh, uh, forgotten because they are golden for, for your company. If we convert all of these type of people into the sales funnel, we can draft it like that. So first, you will work to attract strangers, to, uh, to generate traffic on your pages. Uh, it can be with the social media actions or whatever, but you will try to drive the most traffic as you can uh, probably on your website. Um, if you're doing well, uh, you have to convert these visitors because until they are strangers, you cannot do anything. So you, what you want to do is to propose call to action, landing page swaps, to generate your contacts. When that is done, um, you will try to convert these contacts, these prospects, into your, your first customers. So you'll try to close your business, OK? Uh, so for that, you have a lot of things to do. And I will come back to that just after. And at the very end, we have your customers. And your customers are today managed in the CRM. So if we um, have to add a tool in front of each step of the sales funnel, we have the attraction. So you use ads. Uh, social media, your website, uh, and at the very end, you have the CRM. Most of the companies have these two different tools, but most of them, they also miss the middle part. They work hard to have a lot, a lot, a lot of traffic on their website. They pay hard for, for it. They pay really expensive for it. You have a, a CRM with the with the sales team that, that manage the, the people that ask for contact, but in between, you have a big loss. Uh, we say, and we have uh, measured that most of the time on your website, you have 1% of conversion of people coming and ask for a contact. But what do you do of the 99 extra percent? What do you do with them? And this is what is possible to do with the marketing automation. You will try to convert them to generate 
a base of leads that you will be able to email workflow nurture uh, score before giving it to the to the CRM and the sales team. So this marketing automation uh, brick, and this is why I believe it's very important for uh, companies to implement it, and also and also for agencies to master um, and manage these technologies. It is the the piece you miss be, uh, between lead, lead generation traffic and customers uh, ROI. Following um, a survey done by uh, Nucleus Research, uh, it has been proven that using a marketing automation software um, increased uh, the sales by 15% while reducing the cost of marketing by 12%. So what does it mean? If you're able to do the link between the generation that costs a lot and CRM, the sales team, you are able to generate more leads more more contacts and then uh, each contact costs less because while investing the same amount of money in the traffic in the generation of, uh, of visitors on your website you are able to convert more <clears throat> now to be really concrete um, i wanted to to explain you what are the different needed skills that need to be used around marketing automation what are the different um, tools and ecosystem that are built around the marketing automation? Um, in fact, in an agency, most of the time, or sometimes, you're doing uh, some acquisition. So it can be different way of doing acquisition. It can be ads, it can be social, it can be uh, content with uh, SEO, whatever. Then if you're doing that, the marketing automation uh, for you must be started as soon as possible for several reasons. First of all, generating a lead is expensive. Uh, as I said, you probably have 1% of conversion on your website just for uh, like demo or contact. Uh, so if you pay uh, one click like 10 cents, then having one lead one lead is, 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 is 10 euro. So having a lead is really expensive. And, and depending on what you sell, 10 euro can be, can be even more or, or can be less. But, is expensive. So you need, with the marketing automation, you will be able to better um, use the price you invest in acquisition. You have to know also that with the traffic you will generate on the website, uh, most of the people that will come at that time, they are not ready to buy right now. So you pay for, for visitors, but they are not ready to contact you. They are not ready to say, okay, uh, I want to talk to commercial. So what do you do with those people? You need to, to grab them. You need to stay in contact with them because then you can, without having to buy them again, the ability uh, to generate some business. Um, so with the marketing automation, you will try to, to, to grab those users, those visitors that are anonymous at the very beginning and that are not ready to buy now. And, and with marketing automation, you will be able to nurture them all along their, their funnel. Uh, while they're not ready to buy yet, but you will give, give them more information about your product, more information about your services. You will nurture them, you will make them uh, more interested and more ready. And then the day they are ready to buy, you won't have to pay again a Google Ads or whatever to grab them on your website. And on top of that, because you have your own relationship with them, uh, they are more in confidence. They know what are your value. They know what is your brand because maybe you have sent uh, several messages to them. So you will create by using marketing automation while doing acquisition, your own in-between traffic and CRM, uh, so the contacts. You have this lead generation. You will generate leads that are not ready to buy yet, yes, but that will buy someday. You don't come uh, on the web mechanic website if you don't want to buy marketing automation at some point. You don't come just the weekend uh, in your bed just scrolling web mechanic website. This is not true. It never happens. If you come, it's because there is an interest. But maybe this interest is not for right now, but it's for later. So I need to keep the relationship with them. And remember, this is what uh, something I was talking about at the very beginning in the context. Companies, corporations, they don't know how to have this relationship, this long-term relationship with contacts even more if they are not ready to buy yet. But maybe in your uh, agency, you're not doing acquisition. Maybe in your agency, you're doing something else. We'll see that after. You can note that um, following this survey from Bulldog Solutions, 
more than 80% of the leads coming on your website. So for with a digital uh, experience, they are not qualified, they're not ready to buy. And this is those that we have to capture, nurture until they are ready. It doesn't mean they will not buy. It just means that they will not buy right now at the time you have paid the ads. So you're not doing acquisition, you're not generating traffic for your customers in your agency, but maybe you're doing websites, right? So if you're doing websites, there is also a lot of reason uh, to do marketing attrition for your customers. First of all, a good website is a website that offers a UX, a long-term UX and a multi-channel UX to the, to the customers, to the contacts, to the visitors, because then it's more efficient. As I was saying in the context, today, um, the corporation, they are not able to recognize a visitor that came on the website and then came on the application and then received an, uh, uh, an email and then come on a, an event or whatever. They are not able to make the link uh, between all those contact points and say, oh, but this is the same contact. So I already know about him and I already know his point of interest. So instead of saying something standard, uh, instead of saying something he already knows, Maybe I can continue the UX, I can continue his journey to be sure that it will be super efficient to him. And also, you know it, you're using Google Analytics, I believe, on your website, and it tells you a lot of things which are very important and very interesting to enhance your website, to optimize conversion, but it tells you just how many people did something. It doesn't tell you who did what. And with marketing automation, you will know by name who did what who's seen this page or this page? What is his topic of interest? Um, was he interested by, by pricing or did he just come to my uh, human resources pages because he's looking for a job? And depending of who is doing what, I will adapt my, my message to him. And I can even uh, adapt the message, this is my last point, directly on the website to have a better website experience. If the person came on my website, I have three products, three thematics, and he was visiting a lot the third thematics. Then next time he come back to the website, I can dynamically, dynamically customize the website experience to talk mainly about the topic three because he's obviously interested by this one and not the two others. So adding marketing automation to your website is a great way to segment and to customize and to enhance the, the UX of your users across several channels, even on the website, depending on their behavior and their profile. But maybe, maybe you're not even doing websites. Maybe you're doing some emails, like email marketing, um, trying to promote some stuff or um, talk about the company. You can go to marketing automation too. There is a lot of things to do. And there are several reasons for that. First, um, the, the performance are much better when they are segmented. Um, I can give you several examples with our customers. Uh, we are working, for instance, for, with banks or or car industry. And I remember um, it was one of my first projects with a, with a French uh, car brand. And they were doing some newsletter with quite good content, very interesting and really uh, well formatted. And they had about like 25% uh, of open rate, which is, I would say, slightly better than the average for this kind of newsletter, uh, Blast newsletter. And the first time when they adapted the marketing automation software, uh, was seg segmenting their database, depending on different uh, center of interest. And then they sent the same amount of emails, but there were five different emails, depending on five different topics, to five different types of population. So they just segmented their newsletter. And by doing that, they reached 65% of open rate, because the topic was exactly answering to what is interesting for the audience. Also, um, you can, depending on what happened on the email, you can customize uh, the follow-up, you can customize uh, the behavior you want to have with your audience. For instance, if the person clicks on the email, if the person visits the email, if the person click on a specific uh, link on, of the email, or, or if they visit your website, or if they submit a form or whatever, you will be able to engage a different conversa conversation with a different action type, you can also uh, maybe change the channel if they are not interested by email, maybe they want to have text messages, et cetera, et cetera. So there is a step behind and after the email. You can go even further, deeper, and, and really change the, 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 the conversation with the people. 
something very, very interesting. And that goes back to, to the first thing I was saying. So the first thing I was saying is that um, my, cust my customer, my all customer, they just uh, segmented the audience and sent different messages to the audience. But you can go even deeper instead of creating one, two, three groups, you can customize the content inside your email depending on the behavior or the profile of the content. You will not talk the same way to someone who's technical from like a developer, for instance, or you, you will not talk this, the, the same way uh, to a marketing person or to a, an operational person, to a, a sales director, to whatever. So you, you, you will change the content, maybe just the object, maybe just the first sentence, maybe the call to action or the image, depending on the profile of the person. So this is dynamic content. You can make dynamic content into your emails to raise your open rate, maybe, or also your click rate. And last, uh, as I told you, you will check where they click and who click where. So you can say if you have like an email standard newsletter taking blog post with topic A, B, C. If they click on A, you can say that they are interested by A. If they click on C, you can say that they're interested by C. And then you will qualify all along their behavior on the emails, their uh, center of interest, their profile, and maybe next time you will change the content depending on that. So this is really useful and also for your sales team. If I give the lead to the sales team and they know they're interested by product A, they will change all of their approach because it will be more performed. But maybe you're not doing emails. Maybe you're doing something else within the different agencies. Maybe you're writing content, uh, maybe brand content. And this is uh, probably the main reason why you should do marketing automation because marketing automation is just like an empty bone and you need, uh, you need something around the bone to make it live. And the thing around is content. As you know, when you receive a newsletter, for instance, they promise you like uh, in the newsletter, like a promo code or um, super relevant content or a configurator or whatever. It's super interesting. So I believe, I mean, for me, this is the case that you're ready to give your email address to get something super interesting or whatever. So I go on a website, I'm looking for a configurator to know what is the best price or what should be the configuration for my case for my house or whatever. Uh, if I want to get the report, I have to add my email address and then I get the report by email. If the content is super relevant, I'm able to do it. And you agency, you are writing some content and you are creating some relevant tools for companies. So this is a great way to convert into generic leads. And you can diversify a lot of contents. You can have a promotion, you can have product tests, for instance, in the software industry. You can create white paper, um, guides, uh, case study. You can create a configurator line where, for instance, in the car industry, if I go back to the car industry, I can choose uh, my car, the color, the finition, uh, the type of seats, the, 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 the power of the car, et cetera, et cetera. And at the very end, I can say, okay, send by email this configuration. Then I have it when I want to go in the concession and say, oh, I would like to buy this car. Then I have one lead and the lead I can send it to uh, the concession and they can call back the person and they can get it charged, et cetera. Instead of just a simple visitor on my website, which is anonymous, I have a lead. And you know, remember how expensive it is to get a lead. Also, um, as you know, I mean, this is how it works in France. Creating content is quite expensive. Um, using marketing automation because you will recontact people, you will add them into a nurturing process uh, and you will have several points of contact. Um, it's super interesting uh, because once you produ produce one content, for instance, one blog post, maybe this blog post is interesting to add a piece of this content or all this content into an email uh, for a newsletter or maybe also into a nurturing campaign for all the people that had a specific behavior I want them to read this article. So it's not that you will produce anymore only one blog post for the blog of the company, but this content by itself will be used on the blog post, on a newsletter, on a nurturing campaign, and will be read by a much more audience. And at the very end, um, once you capture the email address, that's not all, you still have everything to do. So if I have this configurator line, I get email address, I cannot stop there. I cannot just send it 
to the to the sales team because maybe the lead is not interested. And if I take white papers, you will find on a web mechanic website white papers saying what is marketing automation. If a person is asking itself what is marketing automation, if I call him just right after it, I think he's not ready to buy yet. If he's downloading a white paper saying how to choose a marketing automation solution or how to implement the marketing automation solution. Maybe this guy is super hot, super ready to buy, and maybe this one I can call him. But if he's asking really on top of funnel, what is marketing automation? No way, I will not call him, but, but I will do a lot of things. I will nurture him, I will give him more information. I will make him having all the information that he could, he could be looking around um, to understand how to implement that very end marketing automation for, solution for himself. And because I will do it, I will be the expert in his mind. And next time he will need something, he will come back to me. Last point, maybe in your agency, you're also really sales oriented. Maybe you help people, you help companies uh, to implement uh, a CRM or to configure a CRM or to have better sales process to, to, to have better growth. Then, you know, you can also use marketing automation for, for them. Uh, the first reason is that most I mean, not most. A lot of your future customers are in your already customers base. Uh, for instance, uh, if they, buy, if they buy, buy product A, they can be interested by product B or product A2. You know it. Uh, you buy a car, maybe you need some new wheels. Um, you, you buy like uh, an album of a singer. Uh, there is a new album in one year, you want it. Okay, so if I have this information in the CRM of what the person has bought, I can automize the follow-up. I can say he, want, he wanted A at a certain point. Now I have A2. I, I have to tell him automatically that I have A2 and that he can buy it at my place. Or because I know that people that like A, they like B two months after, I can automize the fact that two months after I say, hey, you've bought A some time ago. Are you interested by B now? So. Even for the sales process, you can automize a lot of things with a marketing automation solution. Okay, so we've been talking about uh, marketing automation, why and with which type of skill we need it. And now the question is how to implement it. And for me, there is really a rational choice to do. And this is why I want to talk to you agencies, because for me, the agencies are the right person to implement it in companies. And I will tell you why. First, the marketing automation software is just a tool. An agency is a sum of know-how. They know how to use social media. As I said, a company, they know how to open an account on social media, but they probably don't know how to use it well with a strategy. In your agency, you have this skill. They know how to create an email, but you, you know how to create a content strategy. You know, the marketing automation software is just a tool toolbox with a lot of things you can do. But if you don't have the know-how and the, the strategy, the global strategy to, 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 to use it, then you will miss something. So um, a second argument is why we should trust an agency to implement a marketing automation solution, simply because um, you have 24% uh, of the corporation um, doing marketing and using marketing automation that has less than 100 employees. What, what does it mean? It means that probably the marketing team is small. If you think about industry where you have a lot of workers, you probably even have less marketing people in the team. So you cannot, you cannot have uh, in most of the companies so a marketing automation software with one employee, maybe zero, doing marketing with all the tasks around marketing. So uh, writing the posts, uh, maintaining the website, uh, preparing the newsletter, making the nurturing campaign extra, extra. So most of the companies has need, need help to implement the marketing automation software because they are too small to be able to carry all the skills we've been talking about alone. And this is your role of agency, being aware of all the skills around marketing digital. Um, also, why I think it's super interesting for agencies um, this uh, statistic is very interesting. What want companies in their uh, in their uh, company when when they work on the marketing side? The first thing they want to do is increase the number of leads they can generate. As we talked uh, earlier, 
some of you are probably already working on lead generation, but most of the time it's not really lead generation, it's traffic generation. So you really have to uh, insist on how to convert visitors in leads without giving the feeling to the companies that leads are unqualified, so uninteresting. So you need to nurture them before giving them to the sales team. So the, as we, we proved, the, the, the marketing automation software helps to convert traffic into leads. And this is what companies want. And it's not only in B2B or in B2C, it's also in non-profit. So in any companies, we're looking for getting more leads. The second main point, it's proving where is coming the return on investment. When I invest $10 in an event, when I invest $10 in acquisition, when I invest $10 in social media, I want to know what brings me money. And because this is not possible to track in a in company. This is not possible if you are not able to understand from where your contact is coming, which type of point of contact I had with him. So to understand his whole journey. Did he come from social? Did I send him a newsletter? Did he click in the newsletter? Did he visit my website? Did he download the white paper? And only if you're able to track all this behavior on the contact, you are able to say, okay, uh, and probably it's not only one thing that brings the, the return on investment, it's a sum of things. But I would say, okay, I have no new customers that came from my event. I paid $10,000. Uh, but I see that most of my new customers, they've been reading this white paper or they've been reading some of my blog posts, et cetera, et cetera. So you will be able, and you will make a lot of mistakes, but you will be able to see where are the mistakes and where is coming um, the leads and which type of contact I had with them. Um, and last but not least, uh, and I will don't talk about the last point, but uh, also they want to reduce the cost of acquisition. I remember uh, I had a, a, a a survey uh, telling that you reduce your cost. Why? Because simply if I, I generate uh, 10,000 10, uh, visitors on my website and instead of converting just 1% to contacts, hot contacts, I get like 5%, still 1% hot and 4% uh, cold. I will nurture them, nurture them a lot until maybe one or two of those person goes to the, to the sales team. So instead of having 1% of hot, team, uh, hot, hot lead conversion, I will have maybe at the very end, it is in its time, 3%. So the cost per lead is less cheaper, less cheaper. You divide it by three probably. Also, what I think it's you agency that has to implement marketing automation in most of the companies because you are the front door. Um, Whatever the skill you have or whatever the main skill you have, uh, that could be uh, marketing, advertising, communication, corporate com co communication, brand content edition, etc. You, all of those skills, you can plug it with marketing automation and enhance this skill by using marketing automation. And at the same time, by using your own skill, your original skill, you will be able with marketing automation to prove the efficiency of what you're doing. To raise the amount of conversion you're doing to raise the amount of leads you are generating so the the marketing automation with the tracking all along the customer journey will help you to prove the efficiency of your work and will also help you to enhance the the, the statistic and the results you're, you're generating for your customers also as i said and especially if the company is is smaller because uh, 100 employees is already a great company we agree uh, but it's still small to be aware of all the skills around digital all the skills around social media website generation there are too many things and all those things are evolving so fast and you must know that in your customer uh, companies customers they they, they they are somehow not qualified enough not not skilled enough to manage all of that by themselves uh, but this is your job to be on top of the market and to be on top of new trends. So you master all of that. And because you master all of that, you're the right person to understand what is the maximum you can do with marketing automation. Last point, um, you have the global overview. You probably don't do only mailing or you probably don't do only so social media, but you have a global knowledge of, all, of how all of that works from the generation to the CRM 
maybe from the generation to the website, to the conversion, to the content, not the CRM, but this is already a big part of the customer journey. So you are able to understand how works the modern acquisition today around different channels, emails, website, mobile, notification, et cetera, et cetera. So you are the person that is able to understand, to, uh, to, to explain to a customer, sorry, to a company, how you need to, to implement all of them together to have something powerful and performing. Maybe it seems not so big, but the difference is, is, is important anyway. Um, we have been doing a survey uh, with our customers and they have been telling us um, what is the difference they see uh, with marketing automation or without marketing automation. And what we see is that uh, people using marketing automation, they see that uh, from year to year, uh, they grow the, their, their return on investment by 10 points. You see the difference without marketing automation? And they also say, all people using marketing automation, that um, the return on investment almost never lower when it lowers when you don't use marketing automation. So don't be scared of this uh, scale. It's, it, it doesn't seem that much, but it's a lot. It means that uh, many customers, and because uh, with marketing automation, they are also able to prove the return on investment, uh, you are able to prove it. And because you are able to prove it, you see that every year it can be better. And you can also prove from where it comes. So you can say, okay, this thing doesn't generate me any business and people are never in contact through this channel. Stop it and invest this budget somewhere where it works. As I say, you will do some mistakes. You'll continue doing some mistakes. We have a saying in France, we say in marketing, when you don't measure, you have 50% of, uh, of what you spend that is working and 50% which is not working. But you continue use, spending this 100% because you don't know which 50% brings something. With marketing automation, you will measure it and you will start to change where you invest only where it has a return on investment. This is my last topic and then we'll go to, to the question. <clears throat> How to integrate marketing automation in your own offer? Because yes, I've been saying you can do it, you can do it, you can do it for sure. But it's not so easy to integrate a, a new skill into your, your company, your agency. <clears throat> so first of all, you have to understand that using marketing automation doesn't have a return on investment like tomorrow. For instance, if you start a uh, acquisition campaign uh, on Google Ads, for instance, uh, once you plug it, once you start to, 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 to spend some money, you can have traffic raised like from a day to another because you just start to pay up, you have the traffic that, that, that raised. You stop it, you have the traffic that goes down. With marketing automation, uh, this will be uh, longer. But you see this, this, uh, this survey from Focus Research, 75%, so three on four persons uh, on four companies, they see a positive impact in less than one year. So it's a long-term strategy. Why? Simply because, as I said, you will take the lead at the very top of the funnel. And if your customer journey is six months from the first contact to the purchase, you cannot generate a new turnover in one month. You need to wait until the six months, until that the contact has uh, been touched in all the nurturing campaign before he, 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 buy, he buys and before you generate new uh, turnover. So it's a long-term strategy. You also have to, to know, and you've probably seen it. I mean, we, we see it in our customers. I told you we have 500 customers using our uh, marketing automation solution. We've seen some new work, some, some new jobs in the company. So you have new, new people doing now marketing automation manager. You have, you have also some companies where have, they have a campaign manager. So some, someone who is just implementing uh, into the software, the campaigns that have been decided with a strategy in people. Or you also have data analysts. They just take stats and they, they try to understand how to optimize all this kind of stuff. But all of those new jobs, they cannot be implemented in a small company or in a medium company. You cannot have in a company with 50 person or 100 person, which is already a good company, a big company. You, can have, you cannot have these three jobs, but this is jobs you can have in your own agency. And you can say, okay, listen, now I will offer you some new skills. And I can compose in my agency a real valuable package, including all of this software. So first, 
you can say, okay, my main skill is content. Now, instead of offering you just a blog post, I will offer you a strategy around content. So we'll produce content and we'll distribute this content to all your contacts with the implementation of a marketing automation solution that will help us to capture leads with forms, landing page, etc., with the content we offer, to nurture them, all the content we produce will give them step by step, depending on the profile, depending on the center of interest, etc. And until giving the lead to the sales team once they've been reading what is very important before we call them. So this is an example for content. If you're doing some funny, uh, like you take the phone and you try to get some so, some some leads for your for your customers, so you're having a call center mainly. Uh, mainly, don't call everyone. Just call people that with the marketing automation software, you've been a good scoring and it shows you that they are interested. Call those one and try to sell them something. Don't call the one that don't show any interest on your email, on your SMS, on your website. So anytime you have a specificity, a skill, you can plug it to marketing automation to prove the performance and to enhance your performance. Um, just to let you know also, uh, we have several ways uh, agencies work. Uh, sometimes they, they don't even um, invoice the customer for using uh, marketing automation. They, they, they say it's part, of our, it's part of our skill, it's part of our value. You don't have a license of marketing automation, we pay it for you. And because, but then we go for a, a annual uh, content strategy. And in this annual content strategy, you have content production, and marketing automation software uh, campaigns because it's easier for them to explain. For other people, they think that the customer is the company is able to understand the difference between the tool and the and the content. So they invoice the software plus the the, the, the content. So this is also depending on your how you want to construct your your package. On top of that, it will also reinforce your strategic consulting um, services. Uh, Marketing automation, as we said, is from the very top of the funnel, so communication acquisition, to the very bottom, to the sales team. So it needs a really strat strategic overview, and you need to 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 be working with them on workshops with the with the with the, the general manager, with the with the leadership of the of the company, to establish the plan, to establish the strategy, the point of contact, what are the great message we need to send to the right person at the right moment, et cetera, et cetera. So you will also able to offer more strategic consulting. Of, of course, once you integrate marketing automation skills in your company, you can offer operational support. As we mentioned before, maybe in some companies, um, they have one person in the marketing team and they are not able to get more action to do in the marketing team uh, when implementing marketing automation software. So you will tell them, OK, I can implement it with you. So we'll do the workshop together, and then I will implement it for you. So I will need some like three working days to implement the campaigns for you. And this is extra work for you. And at the very end, you have like some uh, small side uh, content. You will need to create some new landing pages. Uh, update the website to make it more uh, performing or to be able to integrate uh, uh, forms or blah, 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 or design some emails, uh, templates, for instance, etc. So you have a lot of several, a lot of, uh, um, I would say, side action to do around the marketing automation to offer to your customer. Here we go. Um, I think I'm done. I don't know if you, if you have some question. I think I'm a little late, uh, so we'll have just like, a few minutes for question. Otherwise, as I said, I will go to the to the um, networking room if you have some question. Oluwabi, you're there, yeah. Um, I don't know if you have uh, some. Your I think your microphone is uh, shut down. You, you need to unmute. Um, did you see some question you want to share with me uh, from the community? Okay, so we have just one question, and I won't be able to answer that question. I would have loved to. So we have just one question because the time is fast spent. And we have the next speaker already in the room. So um, the question is um, from Inda, and he's asking, um, he's appreciating you for the for your time. My sister thanks for supporting community. I understand new email builder is developed by web mechanic, and with this be available for communities. For the uh, community yes. Edition. So I will make it quick. Um, so if you're in, in, uh, interested by, by, by the co community contribution, you can go to Slack and there is a, 
um, an initiative. So an initiative is a group of people working on a topic. There is an initiative you will see on the different channels called uh, Builder, and you can jump in and we'll, you have more information. But uh, yeah, we have been working on a new email builder and we have released it uh, for the community. So it's public and you can start to use it. And uh, we have been deciding with um, with Ruth, the, the, the product team leader, uh, the, the the project leader, so, so the person uh, managing uh, Motic from Acquia, um, to introduce this plugin in, in a core plugin uh, for Motic community. And then you will be able to use this new builder in your uh, Motic community version. Um, so again, I, I just said quick, uh, because that was one of my main points and why I wanted to do this conference. Uh, I hope it helps you, analysis, and I hope uh, you're interested by, by using Motic or maybe using Motic with a partner like Web Mechanic, whatever. But if you have any question or if you have any wish to integrate Motic community to contribute, because uh, I would love to have more contributors, you can just ping me and then we can discuss and I can show you how you can contribute on the, on the product side, on the marketing side, on any team. All right, great so much. Um, thanks so much for your time, um, Norman. All right, so you can just join the networking yeah. Um, area so that you can be able to get people to reach out to you one on one, and then they can be able to ask you questions, and they can be able to also um, get to know more about web mechanic and what you are doing in the community. All right, thank you so much. Okay, thank you man. very much. See you in the networking room, and see you in multi community. Bye. Bye bye.